The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E it's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I'm showing you how to create fire hi-hat patterns every time. The tool we're going to be using is Ableton's Drum Rack. As you can see, I got a beat laid out made out of a flute that I found incomplete. And I have it running through a uh, volume shaper, RC20 to give it some wobble, and then a little halftime in one ear. And then I kept the dry signal a little quieter and pushed off to the other ear to make it a little wider. And then on the channel below it, Whole Loops Organic Female Vocals. I'll show you the original sample. And I took the first syllable of it and just pitched it down, ran it through the volume shaper again, some full blast auto tune, and then waves background sauce. And that's giving it all the vibe, filter, and color that we need to send this to the background. Once I've got my melody and my counter melody, Locked in, I like to start with my drums. So let's start creating the ultimate Ableton drum rack preset. I'm gonna grab a blank drum rack, double click it here. We can call this our drums. I'm gonna start hitting my typing keyboard. We got middle C right here. I think this is where I'm gonna start with my hi-hats. So let's go to Whole Loops Urban Beats Volume 3. I like hi-hat number two. Now that sounds pretty good, but it's hard to play fast patterns, maybe faster than just eighth notes if you're just hitting your typing keyboard. So to have it go fast for me, we're gonna drop an arpeggiator before the sample. And I'm actually gonna slow this down one. Eighth notes is gonna be perfect for this. We're just gonna turn off snap. We could switch this to classic. And let's also take the gate and put it up to 100%. We could use the controls here on the envelopes to shape our hats. We only need one on the voices. And let's use our filter and do some low cutting. Now that's sounding pretty clean to me. So now that we have my first pattern in, let's create some more different patterns. I'm just gonna hold option, click and drag it onto the next note up, and then click this and just hit the down arrow once. So now we've got the next speed, and let's do this and create a 16th note here on this one. And an amazing shortcut to switch between the different pads is to just hit it on your typing keyboard and it just pulls it right up for you. So let's continue forward. Let's have this one be our 24th note. And you could see we could very easily switch between different hi-hat patterns just by holding down different keys on our keyboard. So we're just gonna give ourselves every option on the arpeggiator as a hi-hat pattern. Boom. Uh, let's make this one be 148. And that's probably about as fast as we need to go. So we got A, W, S, D, R, oops, not R, F, and T. On our typing keyboards, all set up, playing some really fast hat patterns for us. So now all you gotta do is record yourself jamming out and then you could very easily go back in and do some editing. But before I do that, I want to put in a clap and a snare as a backbeat to follow. I find that to be much more pleasant to play to than a metronome. So we can go back into Urban Beats Volume 3. Let's grab ourselves a snare that we like. This one's pretty tight. Let's go down an octave. So I just hit Z on my typing keyboard that way C now plays a lower one, and let's just put our drums down here. Actually, you know what? Let's put the snare on D, and let's put a clap on E. Let's go back up to this page, E. And let's put this to classic, sustain down, one voice, just like we did with the hi-hats, some low cutting to help it not be so uh, boomy. 
can even take this and do a little extra distortion and a little extra low cut to it. Really helps it pop through much better. And then we'll go grab, oh, we got our snare here. Do the same thing, classic mode, short sustain. Maybe not quite as short on the decay. This has a little bit of unwanted low end in it as well for this. So let's just do clean, do the PRD distortion. That one's pretty dirty. I like a little bit of resonance to help bring back the low end that you just cut out. And let's put a kick in. First one's good. Put it on middle C. Are your vocals sounding a little weak sauce? Does your plug-in chain lack organic spicing quality? Introducing Waves Vocal Sauce, the ultimate preset for Waves plugins that'll get your vocals so saucy you may never use another plug-in chain again. Waves Vocal Sauce is available now only at Holoops.com. Let's create our clap and snare pattern. So we get Command A and Command U to quantize them. I'm actually gonna take the snare setter on the uh, 0.3 kind of line and let's give them full velocity because I think those are the most important drum hits out of this pattern. And then we'll just highlight them all and push them up a little bit more just to make them closer in velocity. So let's just push these all up a little bit. That was a little bit too much. Let's try about halfway. Hey. So we can call this snare, duplicate this, and call this duplicate hi-hat closed. Let's go back up an octave. It's a cool little pattern. Maybe instead of that, we'll do two two fast ones on the way. And now let's just duplicate this one more time and lay in a kick pattern. Hey. So we're just gonna take all these kicks, quantize them. Now that we've got the foundation, we can go back in, pick out a couple more percussions that are gonna finalize this beat. This right here. We can make a new duplicate of this, delete it. And let's also put this one right here. And let's record in some percussions. And I think that's our whole loop right there. Just quantize these to the nearest eighth note. Hey. Let's turn this one down a little bit. Hit the pan a little bit to the right. Instead of randomizing it, we're just gonna assign these because these are all bouncing off of each other anyways. And we'll do this one to the left. We'll do this one to the left a little bit too. And finally, we're gonna add in an 808. And I don't really like to do 808s inside of the drum rack. I'd rather just go find one and drop it on the sampler. That way when you adjust the envelopes and whatnot, it does it to 
everyone across the piano. Good, you just want it to be one at a time. Perfect. Do it a little bit shorter, a little bit louder. Hey. And a little bit more filtered. And a little bit less of that kick in the beginning because we already got a kick in this one. I like that right there. Take the volume on this channel and turn it down a little bit. Hey. Well, there you have it. That is my complete sauce guide to making amazing drum patterns using Ableton's drum rack in every beat. I hope you found all the tips, tricks, and shortcuts in this tutorial useful. And if you want the Whole Loops Ultimate Drum Rack preset as a free download, head over to wholeloops.com, scroll down to the very, very bottom, and you'll see this here as a free download. And if you don't have the Whole Loops samples, these will show up as a file missing, but you could just replace them with whatever hats, kicks, snares you like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.